Hi there, and welcome to part 4, where we will be adding and deleting cabinets from our room. To get started, we first need to pick a cabinet to add to our room. Using the cabinet menu on the right hand side, select the cabinet type and subcategory. If you hover over an image of a cabinet, a tooltip will appear with some basic information, such as the width of that cabinet. You can also find the width and other dimensions in the top left hand corner of each image. I'm going to go and add a 600 wide 3 drawer Julia unit, however, feel free to use something different if you wish. To add this cabinet to our room, we need to drag the image into the 3D space. You will notice that while we are dragging a cabinet, a green box appears. This is where the cabinet will move, or snap to, if you release the left mouse button. We are now going to go ahead and add a second cabinet. We can reposition cabinets by dragging either the doors or the body. Dragging the bench top will not allow you to move a cabinet. If you want to put these two cabinets together, I would recommend positioning the second cabinet so that it overlaps the first and the green box becomes apparent, as I am demonstrating here. This way we can ensure that there are no spaces between our cabinets. Note that you will need the cabinet you are moving to intersect the first cabinet. It will not work using only the green box, as we can see here. You can also use this method for ensuring that cabinets are properly positioned in corners or against walls. If you see a red box when you are trying to position a cabinet, it means that the cabinet will not fit there. Releasing the left mouse button while a cabinet has a red box will move the cabinet to its previous position if available, Otherwise, it will be moved to the centre of the room. If you would like to delete a cabinet, simply click the body or doors and press the bin icon in the top left hand corner or the delete key on your keyboard. 